Coca-Cola has changed their recipe. Right, but you can't get the old recipe and yeah, then the new one they, like the Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's why the, they write the original huh. on it. It's because that's supposed to imply that they went back to their original flavor. They're back to putting cocaine in it? I don't think they have cocaine in it. <laughs> there was cocaine in Coke, right? Back in the... That is what they say, yes. wonder if you were to say... But it also wasn't... It wasn't consumed at the volume that it's consumed at either. It was like a... If I remember correctly, it was literally almost like a grandpa's cough syrup type shit. The hell is grandpa's cough syrup? You know, like when your your grandpa never said that, or your grandma never said that. Oh, grandpa's cough syrup, and is it's just like bourbon. Oh, like it's just alcohol. Hmm. Usually, it was always. I mean, it, my grandpa was always drinking that. That's what my family drinks is whiskey. Well, my grandfather's main drink was Coke. Nothing but Coke. Yeah, maybe it's just a flashback to maybe. God, this used to be better with cocaine. Very well could be. <laughs> oh. What kind of sodas did you get? Diet Coke, of course. You just don't have any... It's good and good for you. You're, you are a dullard. <laughs> you really are. What's wrong with Diet Coke? I mean, but do something else every once no, no, in a no, while. No, 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 no. I don't do that. That's what I just said. I believe you do the same thing at the same place at the same time and you don't deviate. Okay, Paul Haller. <laughs> Order a double cheeseburger with bacon. With bacon on it. And raspberry sorbet ice cream, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Drive up to Kinnick and fucking get goddamn raspberry It'd be ice more cream. funny if he drove there, got it, didn't even watch the game, and then came home. I can assure you. <laughs> I can listen a hundred percent. If that was an option, <laughs> it would happen sometimes. But it's because he, his wallet hurts him, and Mama feels the same way. My mom's the same way. They don't like spending money. Financial shit ain't ain't a joke. It was never a joke in in my house growing up. If you, I mean, I'm being serious. It was. That's always what my dad always said. If, if I joked about, like, I wanted something or something cost money or, oh, my God, I, I just broke something, he, I don't joke about financial matters. <laughs> Every, literally 99% of the time, that's what it so was. What does that have to do with raspberry ice cream? He's not going to drive all the way up there just for the ice cream because that math doesn't make sense. Mm. So he has to stay for the game. He has to justify it. Right. Uh. Okay. Because I, he's, we've drove up there in shit weather before. <laughs> so, you know, it's 10 degrees outside. Because 90% of the reason was he wanted some raspberry ice cream. Because you don't get that raspberry <laughs> ice cream in Muscatine. You can watch the basketball game from home better than you can watch it from the stadium. Yeah. So you're only going for the ice cream. Mm. That's what I'm saying. No, I stand by. Yeah. Same thing. Do not deviate. Yeah. It's not working. Had an absolute meltdown because I went to Aldi's and bought spaghetti sauce. Always buy the Prego mushroom sauce. You buy Prego? God. It's better than buying ragu. I don't buy either. Well, I don't have time to make it from scratch like but you there's do. There's other brands. It's nuts, right? We, are you saying there's only two brands of pasta sauce? Saying the most common one that... Where do you shop? At Aldi's? They don't have an Hy-Vee? Aldi brand? Okay, well, Hy-Vee has their own brand. But this so is now we're a already safe three. option. So, went to Aldi's. because so I'm like, I'm going to go try Aldi's. They usually have some pretty good deals and some pretty cool stuff. And they had a good deal on spaghetti sauce. I get home, start pouring the spaghetti sauce into the noodles... And just large fist-sized chunks of tomato just start coming out of the jar. Oh, my God, vegetables. I immediately trash the whole pot. Why? Not eating that shit. Why wouldn't you just, like, no. pull them nope. out of there? Nope. I don't, nope. Well, you know, retard's got a retard. <laughs> you get so. the prego mushroom sauce, 
and that's and, it. Okay. So that's my point is that you don't don't try new things. Just do what you like and know and do what you know. Because guess oh. what? You're gonna get fucked, like I did. <laughs> I don't really feel like you got fucked. I mean, oh, you, I did. You had one big chunk of tomato. It was a lot. What do you mean it was a lot? So like I got one, one jar that was like a cheesy sauce. The one jar that was, I can't remember if it was a mushroom or a meat sauce. And I'm like, okay, maybe the second jar is better. No, it was bad. Hmm. So you got two different kinds of sauce. Yeah. First mistake. Who mixes sauces? Dullard. Is it mixing you sauces? A, I don't understand. Do you live in a trailer? <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, so I, mean, I mix- you look like you do right now. Like it, driving up in your truck, getting out dressed how you're dressed. Every fucking person on this block thinks you live in a trailer. Why? You look worse than my tenant does. And my tenant's eyeball is almost falling out of his face. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want you to pretend like you care. You come home and you slap on like a nice pair of tennis shoes just to be in the house. I changed my entire outfit. I took a shower when I, I got home. I have new shoes on. I Why have, are you even wearing shoes inside? I have a pair of pants on that I didn't wear to work today. Okay. And then I have a shirt. Why are you wearing shoes in the house? Why am I wearing shoes in my house? Yeah. Because this is my house and they're really nice shoes and they're clean, so they don't, I don't understand. When you were a kid, your parents didn't say, take your shoes why, off inside. Why are you wearing those? Slides? Whatever you want to call them. Because <laughs> it's like a house slipper. Did you buy those in 1999? Because they look terrible. Well, I take the dogs out in them. It looks like it. Yeah. But they're, like, they're really cushiony. It's a house slipper-ish kind of feel to me. You're wearing them with socks. Okay. Which is, I mean, and you were... I know you're old, but... I mean, and you called the kid that was playing Pokemon Go outside, probably wearing actual shoes, enjoying the environment. He's a nerd. And you're fucking walking around in those Adidas slides... With two-tone fucking socks on, like the biggest dork I've ever seen in my life. I know you're old and removed from, you know, the current scene. <laughs> if you're telling me that what you've got on right now is fashion, I might have not, a stroke. It's not obscure. I might have a stroke. Walking through Walmart, no. I, wouldn't, Call I wouldn't stick out. Call 911. I'm going to have a heart attack. They take one look at you. You look like you live under a bridge. No, I don't. What do, okay, what are they going to take one look at me and say what? What are they going to say? Go ahead. Like, what? This fucking hipster looking motherfucker. Hipster looking motherfucker. Like, does I have he purpose, a t-shirt on. Does he purposely try and match his gauges to his t-shirt? It's a cream colored t-shirt and white gauges. Did he sit there and bleach his tennis shoes where he came out? Did those jeans already come with rips in them? They did. <laughs> they did. They say fuck off on them too. Oh my God. Might as well have had that printed on your ass. What, fuck off? Yeah. Why? Why do you have any lettering printed on your pants? Why do you have any lettering printed on your shirt? That's understandable. Why? The last time somebody had print on their pants was when girls would wear juicy those across pants, their ass crack. Those pants don't have any print on them no. whatsoever. You buy them at Walmart, that's no, why. They're, because they don't have a logo. So if they had a logo, they'd have They're print. American Eagle. Oh. Huh. So I can take them off right now. They probably, I'd rather you not, Just for saying. Christ's sakes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We don't need the whale number two at this fucking right house. Here. Nice. Good God. Nike crew neck. Okay. It's yeah. all name brand. I mean, that, I like how you say nice Nike crew neck. The crew neck itself looks like it was through World War II. Well, I wear it a lot because it's one of my favorite sweatshirts. It, well... I hope so. And Why? I'm thinking it, it looks 10 years old. You are dressed like Bob from Bob's Burgers. Yeah. I mean, you look like shit. Every time I see Bob, he's wearing an apron and regular clothes. I mean, Mike... I think, Mike, he's, wear, I think he's wearing sweatpants. Mike has an excuse. He <laughs> literally just came from work. Let's use the word work lightly, but... 
Right. <laughs> I mean, you've been off work for hours. You've I been was, stuffing your I face. I was resting and healing. You look exactly like the person that eats what you ate before coming here. I was resting and healing my body. That's what eating all the food that you eaten today. Yeah, I had to give recovery. my body something to survive on. Why? Because I just put it through trauma. When? Last night. Doing what? Drinking some beers. That's it. That's trauma. Copious amounts of beers. How many? 14. Fucking Jordan would drink your little pussy ass under the table. Tall boys. Pussy ass under the table. How about you and me do a case race? Oh, yeah. I don't drink alcohol that often. I have whiskey sours when I feel like having a buzz. I don't, I don't need to get out of control, man. That's you. You need to be out of control. I'm still young. Uh, we'll use that word lightly. <laughs> because if you live to see 60, you're middle-aged. Me? If you live to be 60 that's years... That's middle-aged? That's the, that's the halfway point between zero and 60. It's sad that I have to explain So I'm middle-aged now. You. Yeah, if you live to the age of 60... You are middle-aged right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we got there. I taught you something new today. Yeah, but what was the point? You said you were young. Okay. And I said, well, you, were, past 60. said you were middle well, Not at your current pace, you won't. Oh, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'll write that. I'll, I'll, I'll tell Jacinda. Body's built like a tank. I'll be like, hey, Jacinda, remember all those times? I'll, it'll, I'll be it, be at your wake, and I'll be fucking talking. I'll be, I'll be respectful sometime. I'll, I'll probably trash you a little bit, and then I'll, I'll look down at Jacinda and I'll be like, hey, Jacinda, you know, I mean, make sure you speak Spanish. Yeah, hey, <laughs> habla inglés. Spanish, 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 Spanish. Si, Spanish. Si. <laughs> so. We told Skyler, you know, we tried to get him healthy. We tried, but you know, he made it to 63. Commendable. Maybe we for should. For someone at 350 pounds that ate a ton of cheeseburgers. Maybe we should go on like a retreat. A retreat for what? I don't know. Like Aaron Rodgers. Let's go I mean, on a dude, retreat. You, listen to this. Listen to this. You, if you get to 175 pounds, uh -huh. I'll go wherever you want. Wherever I want. Whatever little stupid little vacation, I'll go with you. But you'd have to weigh 175 pounds before I will do that. Can Mike come? If he wants to. I feel like he's going to be the one shooting the content. He'll, so he'll definitely have to, have to come. He'll have to. But God, he's fucking old. He's not going to want to do anything fun. But that's, uh, that's perfect for the guy shooting the camera. I mean, it's perfect. He holds the camera. Eat some food, lift some dumbbells while we're on the ride or wherever we're at. We can go to Disneyland. I do that anytime a loud car drives by. I'm like, oh, get back here and fuck me now. Why? <laughs> because in my head, that's what they're thinking. Everybody just heard me, wants me to fuck them. So I give them what they want. Like, oh, <laughs> get back here. What are you What are you doing with your big truck, though? Because isn't I don't that wake like, up I don't wake up the that, whole neighborhood now. Isn't that the equivalent? No, I don't care that that they drive car? those vehicles. Right. Just don't try and wake up the whole neighborhood. You sound old now. That's why I don't like motorcycles. They're too loud. Don't wake up my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> motorcycles are too loud. Motorcycles, which well Harleys and like. Those kinds. They should make like a Prius motorcycle where you can't hear it. They do. Nice. They make all kinds of electric stuff. Hmm. So. You and I should get tandem bicycles. God, I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> we could go down to Deep Lakes and cruise cruise around. No. No? No. Man, you don't want to do anything fun. 
That doesn't sound fun. It doesn't? I just had an idea where we went on vacation and we went no, to a fucking amusement I had park. The idea. That's fucking fun. And then you fucking say something stupid like <laughs> we should get a tandem bicycle and then now I'm the jackass because I don't want a tandem bicycle? What if I let you I sit in front? I want to fucking go do something fun. That's what I want to do. It's I'll let you sit in the front fun. seat. Oh, so much fun. That way you don't risk me ripping ass in your face. I, th- I I would hope that's even just a given. It's not. We're outside. I will do it. Well, I know you're going to do it. Yeah. I thought it was a given that I would be in front. Oh, no. Well, Why? I mean, you, you do know the lay of the land out there better than I would, so. Right. Sure. Yeah. It was my idea to go that on vacation. And it would just look better anyway. Why? Because, I mean, if we saw anybody. They would go, oh, look at that guy. He's taking his specially handicapped brother out for a bicycle ride. I don't want to be the guy in the back. You're the guy in the back. Because then they think you were? They think I work for Crossroads and that you, you're you on the back and I'm getting paid by the hour to fucking take care of you. I make sure especially if you're dressed like that. I make sure you're the only one wearing a helmet. No, oh, you will definitely need a helmet. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, so we're losing a hundred dollars on April first. Fifty dollars. We all know it's a hundred. And if you no. want, hey, listen, I've already said before, if you want to welch on your bet and be a belt a bet welcher. You say belch? Sure, I did. If you want to be a belcher, <laughs> then go ahead and don't. You said me, if no, I no, pay no, you hey, any time before April. Go 1st. ahead and don't give me the hundred dollars on April first. And you'll be a welcher. It's fine. You'll never bet with me again? Nope. Because you won't pay. You'll make up something where you're like, oh, well, you said this one time that uses $50. <laughs> and then, yeah. It's the, and so now, apparently, it's only $50. You, that's you did what you, say you, that. No, I didn't. Oh, my God. I said in those specific moments... If you want to call it quits right now, you can hand me $50 and we'll call it done with. And each time you said no, which means the, the bets no one, the, that offer is off the table as soon as the conversation stops. I can verify Corey's correct. Boom. You said if I weigh in any time before April 1st, I don't remember saying this. You're the only person that heard this. You two are the worst about remembering conversations. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, you're right. We are. You both are. You just talked about how you drink like 18 tall boys last yeah. night. No, it wasn't that. And, but either. you're supposed to be our, our well of information. I remember everything we talk about. No, you don't. You remember that uh, we talked. Yeah. You can remember that we had a conversation and then you make up the dialogue as if I'm talking to the fucking chat bot. I got a hey, chat bot. Make up a conversation and then boom. I got to fill in some of the holes. I mean, right. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you give me, go ahead and 50. Give, hey, if that you want to be a welcher, you give me 50 bucks. How about you just be grateful? Be grateful for what? Then I'm giving that you $50. I want, I want a bet. I don't have to be grateful. You should feel bad that you failed to get me down to 175. I, I failed. Yeah. You I like, failed. I, I, I like how that automatically turned to my failure. Yeah. Because my inability to stop you from consuming 5,000 calories a day. And I'm still faster than you. <laughs> Your diversion techniques are so fucking bad. <laughs> What does that say? I'm still fast. What is that? I don't know what that says. It says that I'm I a freak of nature. It says that I pulled my groin three steps in, <laughs> and that you won. That's what it says. So that's what your body's less healthy than mine. It couldn't take sure. physical activity. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. I even told you that hunting for rocks doesn't translate to running a race. That's true. And you're like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Well, I was proven wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I was proven wrong. <laughs> oh, you know? it's okay to be wrong. I know you don't like it. Is. it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, just a race with some fucking duller. That day will live in infamy. No one there right. is going to forget that. 
I know they, they, I mean, the only reason why they won't forget it is because you never let anything go. I won't let it be forgotten. Nobody cares. Mm. And that was the worst part about the day after. Uh, it was so great. It's like I won. I could have, I, you know what? I'm glad I lost because losing the race, coming in with all of those pizzas and having nobody make fun of me how you wanted them to make fun of me was the best experience of my life because that's all you wanted. In the end, that's all you really wanted and it didn't happen. And the look of disappointment on your face <laughs> was great. So spending 60 bucks on pizza didn't bother you at all? But the sad part is they'd have made fun of you if you lost, even though you should have. I should have? You should have. Right. Good God, look at you. Don't fucking, don't sit there and be like, oh, well, I'm fucking Usain Bolt. Oh, how'd I win? I pulled my groin. You said if you had it, you, you probably still would not have beat me. This is another conversation that was definitely made up. That, like, I definitely didn't fucking say that. Yeah, because you're just so fast. I oh my am God, fast. There, was, there was fucking smoke coming off the fucking rubber soles of your shoes. You were moving so fast, dude. I'm two and one. Jesus Christ. Two and one in races. And barely lost to a guy who was much healthier than I was. I'm glad you said that I'm healthier than you. I'm not talking about you. Who? Clayton? Yeah. Clayton's the same body size as me. Clayton ain't fucking like... He don't work out. He's a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he, hey, man. He could be probably. I give him that one. He's a little short. He does have a good arm, though. He's a little short for a quarterback in the NFL. Not anymore. According to you, your new, Skip. Your new hero, Bryce Young. Yeah, Skip Bayless over here. You fucking, nobody under six foot can play football. Don't or talk, under, you don't talk about Skip that way. I will talk about Skip that he way. He would fuck you up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have you seen him in his workout videos? 70 years old and jacked. 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 I feel like your definition of jacked is much different than mine. Can you attest? He's, he is cut from old days. he's well put together for 70. So he's not probably, jacked. He's probably healthier than all three of us combined. Yeah, he'd, <laughs> he'll fuck you up. He, he, he wouldn't would, fuck me up. He, he wouldn't? No. Who would you take in a fight, Skip or Corey? Or not? I would take Skip over any of us. That's retarded. Oh. Skip is, uh, huh. yeah. I'll call Skip Bayless out right now. You come to Muscatine, Iowa, and I will beat the fuck out of you right here in my front yard. I don't know you. What's Skyler your address? Skyler wants this to fucking happen. What's your address? I'm not giving out my address on this podcast. What's you hit me up, DM me. <laughs> DM over my podcast on Instagram. What's the last four? And I'll social? let you know. Yeah, exactly. I'll let you know. And this is for Skyler's benefit, not mine. I don't care. I got no beef oh, with God, you. I would love to meet Skip. But Skyler wants me to embarrass you in Muscatine, Iowa. So please come. Skip is willing to fight Shannon Sharp. And he would lose in 30 He's seconds. He's got that dog in him. No, he doesn't. Skip doesn't have that dog in no. him? No. No, we don't. If he's willing to sit there from me to you and call out Shannon and say... Because he knows just, there's lawyers and producers that keep Shannon Sharp from physically making contact with him. Do you think yes. he could beat up Shannon? No. I just said All that. All right, so that's the line. David Shannon Barnes Sharp would <laughs> fuck him up so fast he might die. If they got into a physical altercation... Shannon Sharp would hit him. Shannon doesn't look so natty. Hard. You, I don't think he's natty. What do you mean? He's a, he's sixty and he's of course he's, he's not jacked. Right? It's huge. He's definitely on. TRT. He looks like The Rock. What? Good God! I think he's bigger than he was in his playing days. You have a mental disability. What? Shannon Sharp doesn't look like The Rock. If you were yeah, fucking, he does. No, he fucking right now. Right now, look him very, up. He can barely put a suit want, on. I'm not wasting <clears throat> my time. Did you just choke on like a hair or something? No, it was a little phlegm in the back of my throat. God, you can't <laughs> even breathe. <laughs> Fuck me. Notice how I Shannon kept going Sharp, through it. 
It's just natural. So because Shannon Sharp has a tailored suit, he's equally as jacked as The Rock. So you're saying he does what Mike does and wears shirts that are too small around his biceps to make him look bigger? Yes. Mm. He's nowhere I wish I could afford to do that. nowhere near the size of The Rock. You don't think so? No. God, I, he looks the, it. He looks it. No, he doesn't. He does. No, he doesn't. You don't watch Undisputed. I don't need to. I see clips. I know what Shannon Sharp looks like. He's nowhere near the size of The Rock. You're the wrong. The Rock is so fucking huge. He's bigger than a doorway. He has to turn sideways walking into doors. Oh, you can give me that fucking shrug. I guarantee he fucking does. God, you're a fucking dullard. You're a dullard. <laughs> he does not turn sideways. He could not walk through that doorway. With his shoulder, like, just complete. No. Just fuck no, dude. Fuck no. Good God. No. Nope. That's a small doorway, so you picked the wrong one, dumbass. What about that one? That one's small, too. He ain't making it through that one shoulder to shoulder. No, he's not. I'm telling you, no, he's not. You can, hey, go online and find out what his measurement is shoulder to shoulder. All right, let's get Skip Bayless in the rock here. Yeah. Let's get Skip Bayless in this front yard with the fucking rock and Shannon Sharp, and we'll have a fucking four-way fight where the only thing that happens is me kicking all four... No, I'm just kidding. Is me punching Skip Bayless in the face and then getting the shit kicked out of me by The Rock. Because I'm going for The Rock first just because I want it to be over fast. I want the people's elbow. Yeah. I mean, I want it to be over quick, so I'm going to The Rock. If The Rock sack-tapped you, would you still punch him in the face? Yes. (laughs) So any human being... On the face of this earth, if they yeah. I mean, hit I've you already, in the nuts. I've already told you the stupid drunk Corey story with Tim Sylvia. Yeah. So, I mean, and I, I can retell it for the podcast. It's fucking stupid. And we're lucky that, I mean, not we're, I'm lucky I didn't get beat up. Yeah. Because that's just how I am. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter how big you are. If you do something fucking dumb, I'm probably going to want to fight you. Especially back then. So I'm at the bar in Iowa City, and apparently Tim Sylvia is there. Height of, like, MMA. I mean, I, we're literally talking 2006. Why was he in Iowa City? I have no idea. I mean, he lives around here. He lives. He lived in fucking, like, Davenport or some bullshit. That's where Pat Militage's fight camp was. Was in Davenport. That's. I mean, out of that place, they have tons of, like, champion fighters. Anyway... 21, not even 21. I'm using a fake ID. I'm probably 20, 19 up in Iowa City at a bar, drunk as a skunk, dude. Tim Sylvia's walking through the bar. He's, I'm walking towards the door. He's walking towards the bar. And apparently everybody's supposed to just get out of his way. I didn't just get out of the way. I shouldered him. Dumb, right? I mean, because obviously I'm six foot and at that time, 150 pounds. So you die in 30 seconds fighting Tim Sylvia. Probably less. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Like, I would say, no, I said death. I mean, knocked unconscious in a few seconds. Right. Heart stops 30 seconds later. So, but yeah, I, that, yeah, I do that. Hmm. I don't care how big you are. That's never scary. I, I, I'll get beat up. <laughs> I'll be scared while I'm getting beat up, but I don't think about that beforehand. Hoff Thor Bjornsson sack taps you. You I'm punching him able, in the face? Well, if I can reach it. <laughs> I have a <the> good one. <laughs> Didn't cripple down. I mean, I might grab his and squeeze it like a fuck, like I'm fucking squeezing wine out of a grape. What's he going to do? Oh, I, I mean, think he could he try to punch me then, but I mean, your unless he knocks... In his hand. Unless he knocks me unconscious, them testicles coming off. Yeah, I'm not retaliating. Don't touch. Probably shake his hand. Like that was good. My nuts. (laughs) It's that simple. I just can't believe you. I don't like my balls being touched. (laughs) It's that fucking simple, dude. I mean, if you do, kudos to you. I don't. I don't feel like I need to wear a sign. Apparently around you, I do. 
But I don't feel like I need to wear a fucking sign. Yeah, you should wear a sign. That says, don't I don't touch my balls. I don't <laughs> touch my balls. In any setting, do not touch them. I don't like, yeah, no. Really? Yeah. Wow. Why? Why do you need to touch not them? Not even sensually? I don't enjoy that. Really? No. Just I've got little... sensitive balls, dude. Don't touch them. <laughs> I don't like having my balls getting touched. Don't touch them. It's that simple. So if your wife touches them, are you punching her right in the face? I'm not I punching her. Yeah, not to. I don't think that's how that scenario goes. No. <laughs> I, I was just trying to do something nice. I don't like my balls being touched. I just don't. I touch them. It's fine. I don't like the feeling of someone else touching my balls. And that's, hey, if you do, that's fine. Ugh. You like going outside dressed like that. We all have things that we do and we don't do. That is odd. What do you mean that's odd? You stand up to wipe your ass. And you're fucking telling me that you're me not wanting somebody to touch my balls. My organ that's attached to my body. I don't want somebody to touch that. But it's okay for it like, oh, I'm the weirdo. Yeah, I'm the fucking weirdo. I don't like my balls being touched while you stand up to wipe your ass. I feel like I'm gaslighting right now. God, you dumb son of a bitch. All the dumb shit that you do. And I'm the jackass because I don't like someone touching my balls. Something wrong with you. Yeah. You need to go talk to somebody. I do. Already. For at minimum of an hour. Eight hours every day. I have to spend with you. You fuck around and you find out, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Thanks to our old boss, I got to deal with your dumb ass. You could be fucking pushing carts at McDonald's or something. Yeah, your time is limited anyway. Pushing carts at McDonald's. I'm surprised you didn't get me on that one. Why? Because there's no carts at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Wait, was that a snap? Uh, now I'm glad I said it because you think there's carts at McDonald's and no, that's I, even better. Did you misspeak or was I trying? was I supposed to call you on it? I did misspeak. Oh. And I'm surprised. So you're you, the dumb one. And I'm surprised you didn't call me on it. So I meant to say Walmart. Because you are dressed so you, and look like someone that pushes carts at Walmart. McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's. You are the dumb one. What do you mean the dumb one? Don't like your balls touched. Think McDonald's has carts. <laughs> Those were the two? Yeah, you're a fucking freak. <laughs> Good God. Man, you're out of gas. I'm like a star. I burn bright. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that that's what <laughs> you are. You're like a fart that lingers. I'm just thinking about Brendan Fraser right now. What about? It's going to be like the greatest movie I've ever seen. It's, it's disturbing to me. What? That you feel like the whale. I don't even... feel like the whale. No. You're right. Let me finish. That you feel, well, hurry up. Good God. That you feel like me hurry up. You look like you're out of gas. If I said this was over with, you'd be like, sweet. You'd get in your truck and you'd drive home oh, fast to, to Hacienda and go, baby, baby, boop. Boop, what you want me to do? Dishes? Give me the controller to watch TV. Fuck, dude. God damn it. The fact that you feel like the whale. Is I don't gonna feel be, like the whale. It's going to be the best movie you've ever seen. So it could be, be. Should be everyone's like, like personal window into your brain. And go, that's exactly how this guy fucking thinks. Like The Whale would be the best movie ever. Critics gave great reviews. Optimize. Optimize. Five stars, great review. Okay, I'm convinced. I don't even have to watch a movie. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yep. <laughs> God damn. Having, like, the fact that you refer to yourself as the talent is insane. I'm the tank. You run out of gas after 50 minutes. Well, when I got to drag you through I it. I have to pull your fucking dumb ass. I have to drag you. Shit. You need to stop drinking. No, my energy vampire must be hungry, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, are you not getting into, what do you, what did you want? 
<laughs> I don't know I'm fishing right now. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I got you today. You got me more yesterday. And today. Mm, not as much. According to Mike, you were just gonna avoid me. <laughs> right, because you pissed me off yesterday. So I in order for us to have a decent time at this podcast, I had to avoid you the entire day at work. Because you can't not try to fucking piss me off all day. It's insane. Even after I've said, hey, dude, that's not funny. It ain't funny. Mm-hmm. And you just keep going. Oh, well, maybe it'll be funny eventually. Never will be. It's because you don't yell at me like Mike does. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No? No. Because yelling is stupid. Why would I yell at you? What am I going to yell at you? Nothing works anyway. Am I ignorant? No, you're not ignorant because ignorant is would be like not knowing. You know. So what is it? Bad person. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I don't know, man. You know? I can't turn it off. I, I don't constantly, <laughs> me and Mike don't constantly make fun of each other all day at work. And it's fine. We get to, it doesn't have to happen. There's been days where you don't, and it goes fine. But then there's the days where you pick, for some reason, you've decided you want your friends to be as angry at you as humanly possible without completely severing your friendship. So you'll go as far to the line as you possibly can, which just like today, once you realize I wasn't fucking around at all. What'd you do? You didn't come around me at all the rest of the day. I didn't avoid you. That's not what I did. You avoided me. No, you. No, no, fuck you, dude. For, for, fuck you, pussy. Some, That's exactly what you did. Today's like the you first day that you was actually like, I better stay all away from shit. So. I better stay away from Corey. <laughs> Guess today. I'll go make deliveries yeah. today. <laughs> I know exactly what you did today. I didn't do anything different. Why were you not in a good mood? Because of you yesterday. So see, it all snowballed and worked in my favor because now there's different avenues going on where that situation was affected because of what I did to you. So I mean, all these different avenues are starting to be explored all because of me. I did it. None of them were good. I don't care. You can you but, but that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get at though is that you can you can have friendships uh-huh. without doing that. It's crazy to think about in your brain. Crossroads, I hear you. Give it a second to process. You can do that sometimes. No, it's just you gentle don't have to do bullying. That all the time. It's gentle bullying. It's getting people to the point where they're questioning whether or not they want to continue being your friend and do a podcast with you. Oh, yeah, at no point were you ever questioning. Oh, that. yeah, I did. No, and then yeah, you I got did. home. You're like, yeah, I did. I, I thought to myself, I go, I go. You invite this person over to your home. Mm-hmm. That's you, what I thought. You, so I thought to myself, how mad can you get? You invite him over here, and then one part of my brain was like, don't then, just don't. Try to make you a better person. You wouldn't talk if if, if I if I was like I don't want to I don't want to do this edit anymore. You would barely try to talk to me. For it would take you a long time before you finally worked up the courage. Because if you knew how upset I was today, and you didn't come around, Austin, come help me do stuff. Didn't see us up. <laughs> it's because you were jealous of him and I hung out this morning. That's not what it was. <laughs> I walked up and I saw yeah, you. That's, you were whispering your Brad like, "Fuck, man, I think he's moved on." That's what I said. You have a. You can't quit me. <laughs> <laughs> I can. You can't. I don't know that you would allow it. You're my property. I definitely not your fucking property. You're my plaything. <laughs> God, you're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I allow you to. You let me play with you? I you said that. <laughs> I allow you to joke around. 
But you stop as soon as as soon as you know that it's no longer a joke. You know that you've when as soon as you realize that you've crossed the line that I've gotten to completion, you fold like a piece of fucking paper. You do it every time. Fold like a piece of fucking origami paper. I'm trying to help you. Help me what? You don't have to get super worked up all the time. You admitted yesterday that. No, you could just not. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm testing you. What are you testing me for? I'm seeing if you can rise above. Above what? The situation. You're like, nah, fuck it. There wouldn't be a situation if you didn't do it. Just do what I do. Fuck it. I don't like the look of fuck it. The I look tell, of fuck I it tell looks you, like what's sitting right here in front of me. I tell you all the time. Sometimes it's easier to be the, the donkey. Green Bay Packer hat on. Mm-hmm. And not even a hat. A fucking stocking hat. Right. With a little ball on top. You've got a Nike sweatshirt that looks like it's from 1995. And not in a good way. Not like in the vintage, like, hey, I got this from downtown LA. Like, I found it out of a trash can. And then you've got on these fucking sweatpants. They got zippers on the fucking pockets. It's terrible, dude. I can't even fucking talk. That's how bad it is. Your fucking pants have zippers on the pockets, and you call people nerds. What's wrong with zippers on the pockets? Your shit doesn't fall out, then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what its function is. Yeah. I need you to explain to me what a zipper on the pocket is I'm your Sherpa for. up this mountain. Why do you Let need me to help you? Where are you going that something's falling out of your sweatpants? All the time. You sit down like your phone falls out or your wallet falls out. I already lost one wallet this year. (laughs) And then these stupid (laughs) flip-flops that you've got on. What's wrong? With socks. It's 25 degrees outside. It's comfort. I'm not hanging out outside. I'm hanging out here. You're lucky (laughs) L.A.N. Dressed like that. I should have said, I don't know. I don't know what you're selling. I don't want it. Again. So I should have said. Again. You no, can't. I will not let you suck my dick. Get the fuck off my porch. Again. That's what I should have said. You can't quit. Hey, me, Mike. So. How's it going? <clears throat> Come on in. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. In here playing hee-haw with the fuck around yeah, gang. God. So. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Insert movie. Quote. I had to I'm fit that one in. I'm completely out of material, guys. I had to fit that one in because it's your favorite. Sports! <laughs> yeah. Good God. That's how you know that you've literally run out of steam. That's the best part about bullies. Is all you have to do is let them go for just a few minutes and they just run out. <laughs> I'm not a bully. Yeah. yeah, you are. You're a bully. You run out of steam really fast. <clears throat> because it's all you have. You're making fun. But I can, I'll be your friend. Still. Because you can't quit me. I can. You can't. I could. I'm like your only friend. That's definitely not true. Is this a Mac and Dennis episode? <laughs> where, they, where they quit each other and they find out they can't. Which one's Mac and which one's Dennis out of him and I? Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Oh, I feel like that's... I'm Mac and Dennis and you just get to be Frank. That's a hard one. No, that's not the, op- that's not the, the option. Well, there. I feel like it would. I mean, I'm definitely Dennis. Because he's he would be the kind yeah, of person that would I, I gain would say, weight and act I, like an idiot. I would say you're the dentist more so because you're into bodies. You talk more about bodies and men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Secretly gay like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about you're secretly gay. That's exactly what a bully would do. In the very first moment of being called gay, you turn to the no, you're person gay. sitting across. <laughs> you're, you're gay. Right. You said you imagine that gay guys give the best blowjobs. So you've thought about it. And you said if I was dead, you'd have butt sex with me. I definitely didn't fucking say that. That came from Skylar 2.0, a.k.a. Caitlin. (laughs) Why would she make it up? The same reason why you would. Are you ashamed? Was that not supposed to come out? Am I ashamed of what? I never said that. I never said that. All right. I, I've never even talked about I wouldn't about, be mad. I didn't figure you not would about, be. I wouldn't be mad that you said it. Like, I'm not going to, like, I can't be around this guy out of fear of dying and getting fucked. 
I mean, you'll be dead in that scenario. You did state that you may kill me soon. Well, they, that could happen. <laughs> right. Mm. I feel like that was Caitlin projecting. Projecting what? That butt sex. What about butt sex? I don't know. She, you two were talking, and somehow butt sex got brought up. So you, no. tell, you tell me. There was you no, tell, there was no dialogue. It I was don't just, know. hey, that's, guess that's what, what Corey said like. the other day. And that's all how like, it started. What? That's what she did. It, yeah. The conversation started. She just randomly walked up to yeah, you. Yeah, there was like, no prior that context. That sounds like a real thing. Because it is. It's not. Whatever. You don't have to be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I didn't say it. You don't remember. I mean, because if you look like this, I can only imagine what your asshole looks like. I that's I would never. Good God! <laughs> right? You stand up to you're, wipe your you're ass. You're making so it sound like shit particles smeared up against your fucking thigh and your ass cheeks and all kinds of. You're shit. You're making it sound like if it was pristine like you that you'd be interested. That's not what I said. Mm, if you read between the lines. Yeah, that's what you do. If you read between the butt sheets. Yeah. God. <laughs> You're an absolute disaster. <laughs>